Mm -hmm. That looks pretty good. Merry Christmas, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. Yes, that's right. Today we're going to be making something super cool. But before I do that, uh, I'm going to show you the, how I get my balloons made. So super simple, custom, works every single time. Let's do that now, and then we'll go to the design. So stay tuned for the design. You'll see, super easy. But first, let's talk about how we're going to make some balloons. Too easy. So all you have to do is boil some water, get some peppermint melt, toss them in. In this case, I want red, white, and pink. Let it set for about five minutes, and you're good to go. Too easy. Now that we got them, we can go ahead and make our design. It's exactly what I needed. Some red, or excuse, yeah, red, pink, and white uh, for our design. But this time, I'm going to go ahead and let's use the pink and the uh, red. I think that'll make the design super cute, uh, super simple. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about how much balloon we're going to use to make this. So we have very little balloon left in the end here, but minimal twisting. Well, kind of. So let's go ahead and get to it. We go ahead and put away that pink one just for a second. We're going to go ahead and start with our red. And we're going to do just a few loops here. There you go. One, two, and number three. There we go. All right. So you know what I did earlier today as I twist this, I want to talk to you about something that I was working on aside from, uh, you know, what am I going to put into this video? I was actually working on some uh, champurrado. It's a Mexican hot chocolate, tastes super good and not very hard to make. Actually, look it up if you have time. Um, but first, finish watching this video though, okay? So, so anyway, so all I did is I did, did my three loops and now I can go in with my pink balloon right in there. This is going to uh, create ourselves a little uh, handle, really. There we go. Good. That'll work. That's exactly what I wanted. And now I can come up here and we'll decide, okay, about how long. I think that's long enough right there. Okay. So I just match these up. It's almost like that length of my arm, but whatever. Uh, you decide how long you need that to be. Don't need this. Toss that. Don't need this one. Okay. Go ahead and tie these babies up real quick. Okay. In a minute, we'll chop those up, but I want this to twirl. Okay. So what we're going to make ourselves here, like, and all I'm doing is my hands are just moving like this in opposite directions, okay? So anyway, about that, uh, back to that champurrado for a second, um, you know, I didn't realize and I'd forgotten how much you had to cook all those ingredients, like, uh, before uh, you actually end up serving something to drink, okay? So like I said, it's a Mexican hot chocolate, tastes super good, and um, I'm going to work on another recipe uh, tonight, actually, uh, that... Um, uh, I think that's what you call it. I think that's the right name. Uh, or I think I said that right. It's like a, uh, you know, a bread pudding with, you know, a, a sweet syrup on it and stuff like that. Delicious. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so I can't wait. Uh, you know, I definitely wanted to make sure that I got this uh, tutorial up for you guys, ready to go right here. You can see, super cool, super simple. Don't forget to chop these little pieces off, okay? Not unless you can say your little candy cane sword uh, got itself like a little pair of antenna, whatever. <laughs> Anyway, there it is right there. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and secure that. Cool, so hopefully everything in this video made sense for you. Um, and now you can go ahead and have yourself a candy cane sword for, so everybody can battle. But uh, as we do this, actually as we come to the end here, I thank you very much for watching me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, but also if you haven't gone over to the Patreon channel, do that because I just uploaded over there and that one had the clip art that went with it and probably what I'll uh, we'll do also is take time to make that clip art um, so if, even if you got this you know design here you can use you can also go grab the clip art and you can put it on your menu and um, and then that'll be great all right anyway I'm gonna go ahead and cut out of here thanks for hanging out with me I'll catch you next time happy twisting everybody bye oh I thought you left hey well I'm still glad you're here look I got some balloons for you to check out over here I got a playlist up here a recommended video down here Go ahead and check it out. Stick around, uh, you know, watch more videos from the channel. I got more stuff coming out and stay tuned. Alrighty, see ya.